Hello, hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to Evil West on the PS5. Thanks so much for joining me on this playthrough. We're about to jump in. I can't really elaborate too much on the campaign. I just know that we're a monster hunter set in the Evil West alternate reality with some real historical figures present like Abraham Lincoln that we saw in the previous video. So we're using real life figures. We don't really know if this war with the monsters, with the sausages as I've called them, has been going on for quite some time or if this is a new development but judging by this agency this has been a battle that's ravaged the west and the united states for quite some time since this organization we don't know when it was founded but it seems to be quite old so maybe i missed something and you can care to elaborate in the comments but without further ado let's do this That is the not north, where I'm up to. Like, at all. Why is it giving me the devil's pass? Oh, it is where I'm up to. <laughs> Sorry. I thought the devil's pass was the starting mission for some reason. That was called something entirely different. Surrounding the main trail. The unimaginative locals call yeah, we played this cinematic at the conclusion of the last video, so let's just jump in. Okay, so I was playing God of War for about 90 minutes yesterday, and again, re-familiarizing myself with the buttons. It cost me, because I was pretty rusty with God of War, got into a combat with a Dark Elf, got killed, man, had my first death in God of War. I thought I'd finish that game without dying. Really disappointed in myself, but I didn't cut the Man, recording. Kept it real. Part. Bloom, what did you walk into? So that being said, I'm just trying to memorize the buttons here in my head. Because whilst it's uh, hack and slash with a bit of gun mechanics, it's relatively different. So as I've said in my previous videos, you can deviate from the path a little bit, but more often than not, it's just going to be for bucks. It's way more linear than something like God of War, which you can go exploring for you know, 90 plus minutes. We're a sharpshooter. That's why Modern Warfare is calling our name. Boom. It's good fun though, this. So, I've criticized the story that it's not really making sense. I don't care about the characters. I'm not engaged with them as opposed to even something like Modern Warfare, which doesn't have the biggest character development. I cared a lot more about those guys, like Ghost and Soap, than, than these characters here. But like I said, as well in the past, I feel like the black dude, yeah, the black dude, I said it, I'm not being racist, but he's a black dude. The black dude in this game, he sort of just pops in and out, and it feels like if this was played in co-op, he'd be with us right now on the screen. So maybe there'd be some dialogue exchanges if you're playing this in multiplayer as opposed to, to single. Because sometimes he just pops up randomly in a cutscene that he's... You know, he's been there with you this whole time it seems, but he's, he's clearly not with us now. So, that being said, maybe there's some, you know, slightly different character development. Abilities. Most uncommon for the typical sanguisuge. I dare say, this ability might be blood dependent, but it's hard to tell. Okay, some some lore on the uh, on the blooms. Feel free to pause and read that. I'm not going to listen to the narrations. These videos will take way too long if I do that. Okay. So so much for linear. It looks like it's not going to be as straightforward as I want it to be. Oh, no. No, no, no. My bad. <laughs> it is. I just can't see sometimes. 
so I'm used to seeing the glowing chains and all these sort of oh Okie dokie. They're very in sync. That was like synchronized dancing. Come on boys, what you got? Still struggling with my buttons, clearly. I don't know why my block didn't work. I thought that would have been a perfect parry. Did he just recharge health? Cautious to parry this dude now. Very nice. How much? Beast. Something terribly wrong is happening here. <sighs> Noggle. Okay. So we can shoot him down, but. Because your pocket's empty, your pocket's hurting, bro. That's that's what I've also touched on. The the gore is um, cartoonish. It's excessive. I know you want to make a gory game, but when it goes over the top and it looks like ketchup splattering all over the shop... So I've got to get into a better hang of using my environment more. There's a bit of TNT around. Okay, so I'm exploring. I'm looking for some. I'm looking for something that glows, so I know where to go. Yeah, nothing's glowing. That's where I came from. So I've been giving the game shit for being linear and being pretty simplistic. Uh, there we go. See, I just I got a problem with seeing these things. Whoa, let's check this beauty out. New perk. Okay. These will definitely come in handy. Booming business. Exploding TNT. It's uh, damage 50% larger radius. But it says I don't have enough. Why get me all hyped? <laughs> um... Well, we fought this guy. He was a tough one. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, that's where I'm going. I, I felt special that maybe I looked in the right place to find that chest, but no. It was just all part of the plot line that I encountered it. there getting back to the thoughts I was forming on this game the combat's fun okay it's oh, Jesus. polished in its own way I'm gonna say I was trying to think uh, it's not as polished and I was gonna make comparisons but it's polished in its own way so for Funny. a studio I've never heard of, and maybe they've been around for a while, maybe they've done something really great in the past, but because I haven't heard of them, and I've been gaming, you know, this isn't my first couple of years of gaming, been around since PlayStation 1. Having not heard of this studio, I feel like this is a really solid effort by them, and the gunplay mechanics with the melee combat, 
is something I haven't really seen in any other game. Not done like this anyway. Not pulling enemies towards you like you are. Pushing them away. You can say it's got a bit of God of War, which is fine. It's not like you can't use elements of other games. Yep. People be ripping off The Last of Us and God of War, you know, AAA games. They're always going to have lesser studios using their work or, or ideas from their work. I mean, that's, that's how movies are made. That's just how it is. Wow, this is really difficult. Why is this human trying to fight us when... And there's like... Cliffs falling, or, or rocks falling from the cliffs, I should say, not cliffs falling. Okay, so we can even pull the big boys towards us. Oh, is that going to kill me? Oh, I was really worried that that was going to kill me because... Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm worried that that's going to kill me. And as soon as I did the Superman punch, it looked like I was going to go into a fucking boulder falling from the sky. Okay, I gotta get these guys near the TNT, I reckon. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we got, like, humans having a problem with us, too. How is this even happening? Like, I thought it was man versus monster. Yeah, okay. One down. Yes, I'm saying I gotta use the environment, get him near the TNT, but it seems like that's more of a risk and a hassle. Just keep doing that. Oh no. Oh man, that boulder made me worry again. I don't know if it can interrupt our finisher, but it sure as hell feels like it can. I mean, the fact that you can, like, dodge into enemies and you don't just, you know, roll through them when you're rolling like that. You, you actually roll into an enemy and you get stopped dead in your tracks. And got worried that maybe a finisher can get interrupted and we were going to get fucked up. Wait a find. Oh, come on. Like, do we really need... I hate it. I hate it when you have to use like a specific point to jump off a ledge. Even freaking God of War has it. Just let me jump off the ledge. 2022, no more invisible walls. Or when you need something to be shining to jump up a ledge that any other given time you'd be able to jump up. Okay, so actually that is where I go to progress things because there's nowhere else. Isn't it? I mean, something's shining down there, but... Oh, what do you want me to, to shoot it with the boomstick? That must be it. Oh, you just... <laughs> Man, <laughs> you, you must think by now, if you've been watching me... I appreciate it if, if you've been watching me, but you must think by now I've got a terrible sense of direction. That is not the case at all. I actually this cannon is do like pretty kind of freaking well for myself in most video games, you? actually. I generally find a lot of loot. Sometimes I unintentionally get silver and gold trophies for finding collectibles. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Which way is the... Yeah, that that is not the beaten path. And this is going to be the beaten path. 
Okay, well, I better shut up about this game being real linear and real easy to find where you're going because I've gotten lost way too many times now. Too far to jump. Too far to jump? Is it? You can Superman punch that far, can't you? Okay, so I'm guessing we're pushing this. I really feel like this puzzle is unnecessary. It slows things down a little. Like, the, this sort of game doesn't need this. It doesn't need these Tomb Raider-esque puzzles. And this isn't really, like, even a complicated puzzle, so... It's a mockery. Like, that's just not necessary. You could have just made this a normal path, okay. but I guess this is kind of like a tutorial to introduce us into the fact that there's going to be more of this shit later on, and it's going to get more complicated. Is that? Oh, yep. Yeah. Bag of bucks. More money. More money. Yeah, right. It's giving me choice. You have enough bucks for an upgrade. Yeah, maybe another time. Don't want to keep the audience waiting while I... What the hell was that? Indeed. I'm taking it. So maybe I missed something there, or a chest or some box, but... I don't really care. I think we've established that the stuff you miss is really irrelevant. What I see, I'll grab, but if I sort of wander past it, it's not going to be anything more than a few coins. It's not like you're going to find a weapon in a crate. Oh! Come on. Boom. Boom. Oh, you guys did it at the same time. Oh, shit. And we're, we're, we're reloading. Come on. Oh no, that! Oh no! Oh wow, we! This is actually going to be really tough. Holy shit! I say it's going to be tough because there's so many, and I don't really have any health. I really want to get rid of this uh, nightmare creature. Got it. All right, come here. What's he doing over there? Oh, it sends out like a shockwave. Oh, you're kidding. Come on. Yippee ki yay. Oh, come on. That was a totally perfect parry. Yeah, I was thinking don't force, like, don't use the force to dash into them. I was thinking that right as I did it. And I thought it's a bad idea because you just get fucking pummeled in this game. That was my mistake. I should have just kept being conservative and I totally messed that up. Dude, with this like auto lock on, there is. Wow. I am getting raped by these quick draw fellows. Damn, man. This is a much worse start than the one I had before. Wow, we, we can't even take another hit. I feel like maybe I should just die. I 
fucking get it. Yeah, if I can get it down to just one, if I can get it down to the last one, we should be all right. Oh. Oh, wow. That's a quick recovery. Hmm. Kick to the nuts. Sealed the deal. That was tough. Starting to lose hope. I'll find Bloom in one piece. Yeah, and I'm betting there's a boss fight at the end of this. Can we make this jump? Nope. Doubt it. <laughs> wow. Quite an engineer. Maybe we should uh, do that upgrade. Okay, so we're two thirds through. That's what this is indicating. We're going to have to find one more of those, and I bet there's going to be one more big boss fight at the end. Is this where we fight? So maybe I should upgrade something. Spend the big bucks. One bullet shot. The revolver can now fit an additional bullet. Well, I really want to do something for the zapper, maybe. I'm thinking maybe for the long arms, actually. So that's the uh the shotgun, my mistake. My mistake. What's this? There's our long arms. Okay, so hitting a weak spot now restores a bullet spent. And we've actually bought it and we can't buy jack shit. <laughs> so, fist of steel it is. Let's go. What? More. More quick time. Got a war stop up. Oh, use my attacks on large enemies to fill the stack indicator. Whew. Nervous about this one, man. Especially if he's gonna if he's gonna bust out a couple. Oh wow, dude, I ate shit, and I'm just trying to give myself more open space. So, I've fought your kind before, my friend, and if you're going to pull the same moves as old boy did, I know how to telegraph you all day long. Yeah, see, just like that. We're, we're daring. Actually, I haven't used the zapper on him yet. And I'm kind of surprised I can't actually heal. Like, I'm trying to heal and it's not working. Oh! Man. Again, I'm... Here we go. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't want to... I don't want to charge into this dude. like hugged us and we survived. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh this is gonna get tough. There's so much happening on the screen. And I 
bet he's like recharged half his health or something like that while I've been busy with my bullshit with those flying nightmares. So the problem is impatience is going to be my downfall. I'm actually getting quite impatient. And it shows. Like I just got a big hit. Reload, man, reload. This is killing me. I can kick him in the balls there, but I ain't daring. Come on, I gotta fuck these ones off. Ah, oh, and the reloading, man. What I would give for a higher ammo capacity for this revolver. Come on. Come on, man, I got you. No, come on, reload. Man, I know I got you. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Like, maybe I could be, like, attacking him with, like, way more, uh, damage if I was using the uh, electricity stuff, which I'm not. But I've gotten to this point where I really don't want to die and start this again. Just die. Oh, wow. That was a test of endurance, man. There's nothing in God of War that's like that. Or maybe there is, and I just haven't encountered it yet. But, man, that is a just pure test of endurance. Whew. Can we do anything with that? Like, it comes up with a... Uh, whatever. Oh, we can block projector. I need that, man. Though, I'm going to be so accustomed to dodging that I'll probably forget and never use it. Yeah. That is a chest. Oh, some bucks, not a chest. I'll take that. Alright. So, if we're going to go into a cutscene, I am going to call it there for the part. But if we're still going... 
then we're still going. Oh, well, we just found the last piece of the book, so we must be wrapping the level up. This might be the end of the level. Oh, no. Is this another boss fight? That wasn't enough. Uh... I'm guessing this is exploration. Finders keepers. Thank you, Doki. New skins. Nah, that's just what I wanted. Where the heck did it go? So I'm guessing we're gonna have a. Uh... That was like a warm-up boss fight, that one that took forever. We'll see. If we encounter a big area, we'll know for sure. Yeah, looks like I'm getting closer to its nest. Uh-oh. Bad sign. Yep. Must be a boss. Look at this. This just looks like an arena. Ugh. What a stench. This one's pattern of attack, I do not know whatsoever. Seems like I can do some electrical damage to old mate though. Come on. They just have to summon these annoying little fuckers here. Wow, I actually used my revolver to take him down. That's a first. Just something more to irritate me to the very end. What do we got? Oh, you got your boyfriend running around still. out a bit carelessly went into his hands he's gonna start going wild and we got him Christ. Right. Like anything I've killed before yeah cool beans I think this is gonna wrap it up for this level Is that you down there? 
Yes, it's it's me, but who are <clears throat> Whoa, you're Jesse Rinnie, sir. Splendiferous. <clears throat> Care to explain what happened here, Bloom? Oh, yeah. uh, well, I was sitting here to investigate reports of a novel breed of sanguisuge. But when I arrived, I encountered a group of familiars, apparently sent here by their masters. That was a familiar? How come a human turned into that thing so quickly? Well, excellent question, sir. My thesis is that their transformation is linked to the blood from these creatures somehow. The how is what I'm stuck on. Uh, we better take one of those things back with us to the lab. Still beats me what those familiars were doing here. Well, from what I could gather, they were sent on a transport detail, securing a convoy of carts filled with some curious, wriggly little creatures they brought from the Callum sawmill. Uh, we need to check that place out. All right, teleported back to home base. We're going to wrap it up there. We're going to talk to Edgar in the next video. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you've enjoyed Evil West, please leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you already haven't. We're going to be doing this all the way through, I reckon. It's enjoyable enough for me to finish this game. And we're also doing God of War. We're going to also stick with that till the very end. Some ready or not videos also coming soon. Been meaning to get back onto that bad boy. And we're also going to be doing some other PC games in the future. So that's a wrap for now. Thanks so much for stopping by. Appreciate your support, love, and hope you enjoyed. Take care. Peace.